Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another weekly plan with me for the week of February the 26th through March the 3rd. Um, wow, these months are just flying by and I guess I realize it more and more every time I do like a weekly video. So <clears throat> let's get into this one. I showing you all the setup but wanted to do like a little chit chat so as you can see this does not look like this and this is what i was in if any of you all um typically like follow me then you know the last week in the month is a struggle for me for various reasons however this one is totally different than any other reason um, I've ever kind of like switched up like this before. So um, I'm going to start off by saying do what you want to do. And um, we all know that we can do it, but sometimes we don't exercise that. Um, and and I, I say that in the planning community, but also in your life with your own choices. Sometimes we make choices based off what others want us to do or what seems good or what seems to maybe working for other people. Do what makes you feel comfortable and what you need. Um, this past weekend, I did go on my staycation. I'm so happy about that. However, it was not the best experience, especially the last day, uh, which is partly why I wanted to talk through this video. Um, so it, um, I got into a disagreement with someone and it really bothered me because at the center of it was like mental health. Like I share some things in different ways that I was struggling <clears throat> and I felt like the person hit below the belt in terms of saying, um, the person said, well, I've, I've been managing I've been able to manage and it kind of hit a nerve because I feel like that's working in mental health. I, I hear the problem a lot and that's part of the reason why no one wants to go get help. Uh, no one wants to see a therapist. No one wants to do anything that works on their mental health. Now for a lot of people, you say something about their weight and it may be motivation for them to go on a diet, cosmetic surgery, um, diet pills, like trying everything that they can, healthy eating, whatever it is that they can. But mental health for a lot of people is that thing that they won't touch. Um, and it's for a lot of reasons. And I brought that up and I wasn't afraid, even though I felt a bit wounded in that moment. I brought it up in saying that, you know, that's the reason why people don't get help. And if you need, you know, this message is for anybody that may be struggling in any mental health capacity. And I think when you hear the word mental health, it kind of goes to left field. But sometimes our mental health is affected by our situation. And I'll tell people that all the time. Like I listen to people say, oh, homeless people don't have any mental health issues. They just homeless. Well, yeah, homelessness can bring on depression, can bring on anxiety, especially if you don't know where you're sleeping at night. And especially if you have kids um, trying to keep a hold of your things while you're moving from shelter to shelter, trying to see if you can even get into a shelter. That can cause a lot of uh, hypervigilance, uh, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, uh, negative self-talk, just it can cause mental health problems. So like anything that we go into, if we're struggling with our children, if we're struggling with our job, especially if you don't like what you do and you spend most of your time there, then you go home, that spills over to your family. And it all has to do with mental health too. So I urge you, you know, if you're struggling with something, change what fits you. Change change what fits your situation. And I say that because also I I battled, so to speak, with going into something different because this was the last week 
And I was saying to myself, like, oh, goodness, you already know how you struggled with the last week. So let's just push through. Don't push through if it's not comfortable. Do not push through if it's not comfortable. And I mean that in all aspects of life. If something feels uncomfortable, change it if you can. Even if it's in one small way, start making the change because it'll pay off in the long run. If something does not feel comfortable in your planner, change it. You know, I know it can be, especially if you put stickers all over it and, you know, you've been using it like I have. Where I'm at mentally now and where I'm trying to get to and how I want to be gentle with myself, I couldn't do the last week in this form. I couldn't. It was, it was... It was causing, um, I couldn't do the last week. Like, I, I didn't even have the energy to go page after page. It was causing anxiety. It was like, oh, gosh, now I got to do this. And then I was like, well, well, I won't do it. I'll just write in it and leave it in the same form. But I like to see things. Like, I like to see pictures. I like to see stickers. I like to see, that's, that's a little bit of a motivation. I just did not have the energy to see it and do it like I would have put my whole heart in it. I knew if I carried on with this week like this, it would have weighed on me the lack of things that I had to put in it. Um, so it, I said, you know what? I can't do it. You know, and I know I mentioned before in another video that I was changing my format coming into March. Uh, in March, I'll be changing the format because I need something different now. I need a lot less. I need to downsize in a sense, but downsize in a whole, like downsize the amount of tasks that I list to do each day. Down, like simplify it to the simplest that I can do because my mind can't take it right now and I still want to be productive, but I also want to be focused and not overwhelm myself. So if you feel like you need to do that, by all means do it. Even if you say, you know what? I can't even do the planner that I'm in. I'm just going to do a notebook. If, if, if decorating is not important to you and it doesn't motivate you and you're not in a good space, then don't do it. Grab a regular notebook. Don't... Don't even feel like you have to grab a notebook. Grab post-its. Whatever you can to get what it is that you need to be done. Don't feel as if because you started in this and you do videos and you, you just have to like push through and do it. If it's not working for you, change. So with that being said, I, I this is just for this week. <laughs> Because my mind just couldn't. So, um, I will be using these because I do have quite a bit of these when I, I love traveler size notebooks. So, I will, I am going to go into using these up because this is, you know, this is my jam. This, this size is what I love. So, this is not forgotten and I have so many of these. And I don't want them to go to waste. So I decided to focus on the things that were very important to me. And because of the health situations that I need to change, as far as like my eating goes, um, I needed to have something to log that I absolutely needed. This is an Erin Condren um, wellness log. I've had it for a while. I actually have two of these. And I wasn't really using them. I used it for a, a, a little while and then stopped. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you need something to guide you, this is it. It gives you, um, let me go to a blank one so you can really see what it does. So it gives you, you start with your monthly progress. How did last month go? Accomplishments, goal progress, what I noticed this month. Then moving into the next month, so it's like a monthly review, and then it moves into the next month. Goals for this month, how I'm working, how am I working toward my wellness goals next month, what I'm trying out next month. And then it goes, this is the layout. 
on the left side is the movement the right side it is the food log and then down here you have this bottom section with um tracking that you can do and a weekly self-care if i'm being honest this is the exact layout that i need um because i need it to be simple i don't get me wrong i love creating creating lets me relax and it distracts me so that's why i fell in love with this along with getting in here what i need that i can't necessarily get in a planner um in a bought planner so to speak but I can still be creative in my journaling. I can still be able to get that out in that form. So just because I'm simplifying this, it just leaves me more space to kind of go free in the other areas that I want. So this is perfect. It gives me everything of what I need. I think the only thing that I will label out a little bit later is like steps, sleep, um, steps, sleep, and movement um like if i exercise or anything that's just something that i want to hone in on um and floors the amount of like flights i do and then food it doesn't have snack but but that's totally okay um as long as it has breakfast lunch and dinner and then self-care is something as you all know i'm trying to get into so that's why i have this so i used this was, and as you can see, even the year that I used this, I was still trying to work on less pastries. Um, this is 23, January of 23. So as you can see, I used it perfectly fine. I liked it. Sometimes when I go back and look at like old planners, I think like, girl, you like added so much to it and <laughs> from where you started. Um, but I like it. I like the layout. Um, I like how I can clearly see what it is that I did. Like, you see how I did the weekly self-care. So, I had, you know, I really need to do a vision board. Worked on vision board. I really need to do a vision board. I was consistent with my massages then. This is just easy. Again, if you do not have time and it's stressful to create something, do the bare minimum, but what works for you. If you need to buy a small thing or look at layouts and then recreate them on your own notebook then do it but i can tell you right now what is going to be for me in the future is simplifying because i need to really get myself together um and again i don't want to overwhelm myself so i used like the last week in this month because it gives you five weeks so I used like the last week in this month. One, two, three, four. No, that's the other one. Yeah, I got another Aaron. No, it's it's five, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five. So I used the fifth one in this one because I didn't want to start with a new one because I'm only in it this last week. So I labeled it up here. I have the clip so I can easily get to it. Um, I added in what I want to track and my goals as far as that goes. Definitely want to track what's important to me, even though I'm missing my tracker in here. Um, and the thing about it too is, I know this video is so chatty, but the thing about it is if you're not in the mood to do it and your heart's not in it, you won't do it. You won't fill it out or you'll constantly, at least for me, I'll speak for myself. I won't fill it out and I'll be constantly backlogging because I didn't do it, you know, in the moment. So, um, this is exactly what I need. If I choose to add stickers along the way, I'll do so. But this is mainly what I need. And this is the layout for here. I really like this because in a way it's creating your own thing. Everything is super smaller, so it simplifies everything. Um, Monday, it's a Monday start, and you can use this in and out whenever you want. I love undated things because you're not wasting it. So, it's no real flip to do. I didn't even decorate it. Um, it's no real flip to do. I only use one page out of here, and as you can see, I wasn't consistent when I used that. 
um but this is this week's layout simple as you can see i only have three i only did three dots for three tasks and that's what i want to do um right here i definitely i will always need my weekly task list and i'll just put it right here on the sticky if i choose to move this to this side fine if not it's nothing for me to flip to the next page and see what else I need to add. But these are the major things. I definitely need a weekly to-do list. I can't go without that. It gives me my direction. But this is simple. It has all the important things in here. Um, the days that I work this week. Uh, what um, What's the day? The date? The three spaces and i can just easily go in here and write them down do not get me wrong i love this layout it worked i love it it's nice if i have time but it's overwhelming if this was all that i was doing and i was not and i didn't have any other pages and i didn't have the tracking and i didn't have the food separate this would be fine and if you can see, I'll show you how I knew that I was way off in just where I was mentally and how I wasn't getting things done. Absolutely nothing. Today is Saturday. I did absolutely nothing. I did go to the grocery store, though. <laughs> I did go to the grocery store. I got the ice cream, the eggs, the sausage. I didn't get the lactose milk. I got the coffee creamer and the coffee. So that I did do. Um, I did kind of follow the meal plan. And again, those are the things that are important to me. So that's what I feel like I got in this. Honestly, do I like the fact that I had to dwindle down to what to this? No, because I'm used to like decorating the whole thing. And I'm still going to do it for next month. But... This is what it is for now. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all, you know, um, again, evaluate where you are in planning. Evaluate what your life needs in the moment. If you need to make space to have less of this, but still get in what you need to have more time for yourself and your family to work on things that you need to work on within yourself, that's important because that's what's going to make you be productive and everything else. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment. Let me know. Let me know. Have you ever had to downsize? Have you ever had to change up your planning system due to any part of your mental or physical health that needed more attention? Um, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.